Hello? Uh, I think there's something wrong with my mic. Uh, testing. Hello? Ah, there's nothing wrong with my mic. It works fine. Let's go. Uh, mute you. Uh, hello, hello, hello. We'll be starting in one second, everybody. Just bear with me while I set some things up. Um, also, I need to get a drink out of the fridge because I'm going to be hungry. Uh, we're going with the desktop one with face cam. Or should we start with a full face cam? What should we do? Full face cam? Yeah, let's go full face cam to start with so I can just say hello. Um, transform. No. Um, mm. Edit. Please use 960 by 540. Done. Now, please use. I want 720, please. There we go. There we go. There we go. Hello, 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 hello. I can hear you. Full face. Full face. <laughs> Um, cool, let's uh, transition. Boom. Hello there. Hello there, everybody. How are you all doing today? Um, oh, I need to update my donation goal thing. We've, we've, we've progressed, people. We have progressed. Um, how do I edit? Edit? <laughs> um, wait. Can I not edit the current amount? Uh, I'm going to have to end goal. Goal, it's 250. Did we say two? It was 200, wasn't it? Goal amount, 200. Title new gear um, starting amount is now up to 19 of our special dollars um, and the month is going to be the 12th of the 21st of 2021 start goal boom done there we go it's updated we're at 19 dollars 19 dollars so it's actually pounds but it doesn't let me do it in pounds um Hi, what's up? How are you? How's your day been? Hey, D, it's good. It's good. How has your day been? How is everyone doing? How is everyone doing? Seeing an apple. See, good lunch. An apple. And I had a banana too. Look at me go. About to pull out a Pepsi out of the fridge, but we won't talk about that. Freezing cold Pepsi. Oh, yeah. How is everyone doing? Why is my mic saying there's issues? My mic is saying there's like major issues on the left side. Is that this? No. Nope. Hello. Hello there. Do I sound all right to everyone? Do I sound okie dokie? Oh, here we go. Can we turn audio monitoring? No, thank you. Uh, down mix to mono. There we go. That should hopefully fix the issue. Is that fixed the issue? Oh god, I might have made it worse. Um, uh, hi, I say uh, you will use few two or few three. Uh, Nux doesn't support few three yet, so we're going to be using few uh, two. I'm actually already been building it, so um, you know, let's let me just swap over to the desktop view quickly. Transition, boom. So. Um, if we go this way, you can see I've just been messing around, I've literally just, this is how far I've got with my, uh, blog, so we've barely got anywhere. Um, we got the tailwind set up in here, uh, just a simple background colour on the body for now. Um, just some very simple setup here, it's really annoying me, there's no space there. Um, and then a simple header component here. Uh, so, yeah, I'll... If there's anything you want me to go over or anything, let me know. But in this, it's mainly just, I'm not going to lie, I'm just doing it because I need to build my website. Um, and, well, and basically, I want you guys to enjoy. Don't drink Pepsi every day because it's not good for your health. Eat fruit and some veg. Thanks, want to know. I will try to do that. I promise you, I will not do that because I am just bad with everything i can't it's it's reason habit i used to be so literally back in the first lockdown of the great lockdown of uk um i uh i've been drinking i, I literally drinking water exercising every day in the garden going for runs doing everything and then lockdown ended i was like yep i'm going to go and get loads of pepsis and now i've just drank a million of them uh good have a maths paper to do before 9 p.m now so it's it's 6 33 p.m i am going to do a few paper later and i have been learning data science in general nice man uh you yes yeah, Suf, uh, i am not sure i understand how server side rendering with nuxjs works is it still spa isn't it slower than client side rendering um it's slower 
but not really noticeable. So basically what happens is it renders all the templates on the um, surface side, right? So it's going to be slow. It's got to travel. But it's still going to, um, it's still fast. With the nature of how few quick few renders and how quick it renders, it will render it really fast. It's faster than like PHP and stuff like that because it's just going to be built, 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 basically, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, also, what's wrong with my face cam? Come on, face cam. Why you gotta be an absolute ass? Done. Fix my face cam. Done. Fixed. There we go. Um, cool. Uh, what's everyone saying? I haven't used Vue.js so much, uh, so this would be cool. Yeah, cool. Well, I'm literally just gonna start building. So if you guys have any ideas or anything like that, please feel free to just, um, let me know, but for now, I'm literally, all I'm planning to do, right, is just build. That's the whole thing. 20 people have been here, though. Guys, what's up, everybody? Say hello, get involved. We're just about to start building, um, basically, my website. I am literally have no idea what I'm doing. Should we have to look at some website um, concept art? Portfolio Concepts 2020. Uh, oh, no, blog. Website, Portfolio Blog Concepts 2020. Uh, images. Let's go images. Let's have a look. Uh, I love it. It's nice, but I, I want a minimalistic. I want it to be simple, quick, and easy to do. Like, I've seen this website so many times. Uh, it's a good website. Uh, what else are we looking at here? Uh, should we just have a blog concepts 2020? Uh, website. Website blog concepts 2020. Um... That's nice. Again, I, I really want it super like that. That's simple, but I want it to look good at the same time. Tyler, you want too much. Um, your favorite blog? It's not. I'm sorry, but I wish it was. I I don't. Um, cool. That's cool. What we got here? Jefflin. That. Can we keep going? That's all right. Any good ones you guys know? By it's thundering. By it's thundering. You off, uh, D? I'll see you in a bit, man. Uh, what we got here, what we got here, what we got, what we got, what we got. Anyone got any good ideas? I really don't know. I don't really want the big, I want it plain. Like, look, these are a few examples. So, mark.def, nice. Look how clean this is. Nice. He's got his information. He's got some infographics. I guess that makes his website feel a bit more uh, clean. He's got his information. Then he's got his articles. Like, that's nice, right? We then got AaronFisher.net, which is uh, my colleague. And his is so simple. Look at it. It's literally his name, all his stuff. And here we go. That's it. That's all we've got. It's so basic. It's basic and works. It works. Look at those pins. Um, it's nice. You know, it's good. I like it. Uh, are you going to build Surfer 2? Uh, no, I'm not. I'm literally... This is going to be a completely static built website. And I'm going to use Markup to build the... Um, you know, which programming language is most secure for web development? Any of them? All of them do the same thing. Uh, one second, I'm getting a phone call. All right, we're back. Um, apparently I've been sent a video I need to watch. Um... Interesting. Interesting. I haven't got a video. I ain't got one. What? I was lied to. Uh, this guy to HTML security. <laughs> There's a guy to HTML security. <laughs> yeah, um, basically, it, I don't really say either one are more secure than the other. If you do it right, they're going to be secure regardless. Um, I mean, if you build plain HTML, then <laughs> it's going to be quite hard to uh, hack, isn't it? No, no API, no rain. Hey, Tyler, I sent a design idea above. Uh, you can check it if you have not decided to come to it. You sent an idea above. Uh, so I have. Um, if you have sent one, it's probably being deleted by my bot, dude. Sorry. Um, uh, let's have a look. More, does anyone got any websites they know? I mean, you could go into the Discord channel. Um, and let's head up to where we got here. We got... Uh, Tyler Potts, submissions, uh, what we got in here? No, 
just chat with Tyler. If you want, if you have any ideas, head over to Discord channel. It's down in the below. Fire it into just chat with Tyler and we can have a look there. Uh, Tyler, can you help me fix my in Unity? I will reply to this later. How do I add a reply later? Marcus unread. There we go. Now I have a thing. Oh, no, but then people are going to message in here anyway. Oh, I'll reply to it soon. Uh, what's going on? What's going on? Welcome. Snowy. Hey, Snowy, I see you. I'm sending it in Discord right now. Hey, Snowy, I see you. I see you coming. Um, also, I don't really do Unity anymore, so it's going to be hard to... Uh, thanks, you're the best. Thank you. You're the best. <laughs> uh, submissions. Hey, Tyler. Blog idea. Thank you. Um, let's open this up. Uh, I'm going to open it up on a separate tab. Sorry. Someone tried to send me a porn webs. Okay. Um, I don't know. I don't think it really fit. It's nice, but it doesn't really fit what I'm looking for. I'm not looking to like show off who I am. I'm more looking to... Um, also, death doesn't actually work. Is it blog? Yeah, it's forward slash blog. Um... I'll show it to everyone quick. One second. One second. Um, here you go. So this is what a suggestion is. It's clean. I, I don't know. It's it's nice. I don't know if it's for me though. Um, yeah. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I, do we just build? Is that what we do? Website concepts in 2020. Right? Why is there no... Why is there no... Oh, website inspiration... That's what we needed to Google, not bloody. There we go. Blog, website, blog, inspiration. Here we go. Some more here. I don't know. Do we just build, guys? Is it just the, the challenge of just building something? Yo, Daniel, what's up, man? Um, what are we doing? So we just build. I think we just build, right? Just get to it. See what we build. We've got this, right? Let's style this up. So we've got this here. Should we center this or do we leave it? Uh, justified. It's currently a two grid column, but I feel we probably can we just do grid column one? Oh, apparently that does work. Awesome. Uh, I can't want to see how that works. Boop boop boop. Nice, cool. Um, so I'm using Tailwind, guys. It's like one of my first times using it again for a long time, and I haven't really used any of the grid stuff. So I wanted to use the grid stuff for this. I thought it'd be kind of cool because you can like create columns just so simply like that. Look at that. Very nice. Um, we've got more. It looks like people are... Uh, also, have you heard of Dribble? Yeah, I've heard of Dribble. Dribble's good. Um, but, again... Um, uh, can we just find blog? Can we search? Web design. Uh, how, these are mobile. These are web. Well, I guess they could be web on a mobile. But we won't talk about that. Uh, <laughs> Um, what are we looking at? What are we looking at? What are we looking at? Uh, fill this. Can we search? I just want to search. There we go. Uh, blog. Let's have a look. What we got? What are some people's ideas on this? Oh, hey, excuse me. Can I not view it? Do I have to sign in to view it? Sign up with Google. Sign me in. Uh, please confirm uh, that Tyler Potts will be connected to you. Sure. Uh, use the name. Don't be taken, don't be taken, don't be taken. Oh, um, password. Let me move this off screen quickly. <laughs> uh, create account. Oh, it's been taken. Of course someone's taken it already. We're going for the OG name. Oh, now my name's all wrong. I don't want to do all this setup. Oh, you know, we're not doing it. <laughs> I can't be asked to sell it all up. Uh, do you have any tuts for how to make a website or full guide video for web development? Um, I think I do. I don't actually know, but I think I do somewhere. It's been a long time, man. As far as I remember, you don't, you don't, weird. Yeah, well, yeah, it makes me log in. Oh, well, um, cool. So let's have a look at this. So I think we need to kind of grid coals... We need to center this, don't we? So let's give this a class of um, uh, 
max width 76 is it 72 Hey, come on, where's my auto gone? Max width. Oh, we got extra large. Um, oh, it goes like that, don't it? Okay. Full min max content pros. Ah, here we go. Max width screen is what I'm looking for. Uh, let's say LG. We'll go LG for now. Uh, MX auto. Send us it. Did I do it wrong? No, I didn't do it wrong. Ah, oh, but it disaligns with that, and I don't like that. <laughs> Alright, let's... Let's make the text white. Or maybe a grey. Text, grey, 300. Is that going to be a colour? Yeah, it is. Maybe darker. 500. Too dark. <laughs> 400. So this is the power of Tailwind, everyone. So what's happening here is it's just simple Tailwind. Wait, how is that 400? Did that even change? Really? Is there such a big difference between three? Oh, okay. You know, we'll go for that for now. I think that'll work. Hello, my name is Tyler. Da -da -da -da. Um, I've been watching this channel for so long, so you can watch his video and you can watch his videos if you want. A complete startup guide. YouTube has a ton of tutorials. Yeah, I kind of just do like project based stuff. I don't really do things from scratch. Um, use normal bootstraps for this little style. Uh, I kind of want to just mess around with Tailwind. I don't really want to. I hate bootstrap. It's just such bulky waste of my time. And with Tailwind, I can use classes and then just delete everything I don't use um, with the power view. So I'm using something called uh, Purge CSS or something like that. Or Tailwind Purge. It's something like that. Um, and basically, any class I don't use in my market will be deleted from the rendered out files, which means it will keep it so lightweight, which I like. Whereas with Bootstrap, you have to kind of include it all. Um, there's probably a purge CSS somewhere for it, but I just prefer this. I prefer I prefer using my own. I have my own called gasoline.css, what me and my uh, colleague worked on, but, you know. All right. Guys, I need ideas. Come on, fire away. Tell me what you think I should do with this, because it's boring and it's crap. I don't know. I'm just looking at everyone else's. Like, we've got marks. I really like marks. This is one of the things. Um, see, this is nice. I want to keep it simple, though. I don't want too many columns all over the place. Again, I want it so basic. Let's go to his blog. Oh, look. It's just a blog. That's what I like. That's what I like. That's what I like. I really should come up with a plan before starting a stream, but I have no... Oh, I don't like the... like day mode here. Not so much on the blog. No, I just like night mode for everything. Hey, is this going to be available afterwards? Uh, no. No, it isn't. It's going to be my own blog. <laughs> um, this isn't this isn't a blog I'm building for anyone. This isn't like a tutorial or anything for someone else to use. It's just I want to build my own blog and I thought I might as well do it while you guys are around, you know? Bit of fun for everyone. Um, let's change this from hello to who about me about me or who I am who <laughs> um, about me sounds about right let's give it that also I don't like 2xl let's go 3xl I want it to be larger did that change there you go. Um, and then we're going to go MB like free. Give us 15 or 0 0.7 RAM. There we go. Uh, that's better. That's better. Let's give it some padding top and bottom. So on this section, I'm going to give a class. And I'm going to give PY of 5, 4. PY of 4. Is that going to do anything? I don't think it's going to do anything. I don't know. For clip, I mean. Wait, what clip? Oh, this stream? Yeah, yeah, the stream will be available afterwards. Oh, Tofi, what did you say? Oh, sorry, dude, you can't post links. <laughs> but we need something different like slider. Wait, you want a slider? Hi Tyler, can you give ideas on components Mark used in his blog? It seems like it seems good and might have some idea. 
Um, his blog, okay, cool. So his blog obviously used their singular card component. You can see here, it's, I assume it's literally a singular component. Uh, I don't know, can we see what's happening here? Um, so he's... See, this is the issue with um, Tailwind. It's, it just looks messy. Uh, so he's got a section which is grid. He's got his article. So a single article is this. So you can see he's, got, he's going to have an article um, component, right? Which literally just has these different elements in it, most likely. Probably just have components and components here. It's just singular. And then when you click it, here you go. So this, these are all probably, this all markup. So this is just one singular component, again, full of markup, I assume. This is what I'm guessing. This might be a component, the little bit here. Um, you might use this as a component as a little off a bit, but I don't know. Um, I don't think there's much to it. His blog is so simple and so clean, and that's what I like. Um, let's go through. Let's just build sync. I'm just going to have some ideas. I'm just going to leave that like that. Um, you know what, let's give it 50%. Let's go grid call 2. Let's give a second item. Also, let's remove this from this diff. Um, and in this one, we'll have an image, which we'll use later on. I need to come up with an image. For now, should we get a placeholder? We'll do uh, slash slash placeholds.it forward slash 300 by 300, maybe. I think that's how you do it. No, what is the placehold? Actually, we'll use uh, Unsplash's API. Splash API. Uh, there it is. Unsplash. I can't. No, it's source. It's the source. I want the source. I want the source. <laughs> Give me the source. Uh, cool. Uh, we'll take this. Um, and we'll also. We'll, mm, is it this time? Yeah, so it's literally just. Whoop. Um, and we'll say 300 by 300 save. There we go. We've got a picture of water. Hey, random dude. <laughs> Leaves. There we go. Uh, let's make it 400, 500 by 300. There we go. Um, and now we need padding. You can see there's no spacing. I think you can do grid gap. Oh, grind gap. Oh, don't go into that, Tyler. Grid gap. Is it grid gap? Oh god, guys, what is it? Tailwind, grid, 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 grid. Uh you know, let me show you this. Copy over here. So this is Tailwind CSS. It's awesome if you haven't used it before. It looks really cool. Um Can you see grid anywhere, anyone? Oh, it's below here, there it is. Gap. Oh, it's just called gap. Okay, cool. So we just want gap like four, right? Gap four? Gap four, bro. I guarantee someone's already said it in a channel saying. So. My bad. Uh, oi, oi. Oi, oi. Salah, how's it going, man? Um, we're just doing some few JS here, man. I know you're a React person, but there we go. Nice. So we've got a bit of grid gap there now. I think we need more, though. Maybe grid gap. We'll do grid gap four, and then we'll do gap or MD, LG, gap. Uh, maybe eight double that spacing on that didn't do much but I'll take it there we go cool 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 that's fine um oh, I just don't like we go I want to get an infographic made here I think I like how mark has an infographic so mark is I'm, I'm really referencing mark at the minute I should really check out some other developers um Florin pop let's have a look at Florin pop's website so his is so basic as well look at it See, look, that's that's as simple as it needs to be, doesn't it? I don't know what. I think I'm putting too much effort into this. I'm putting too much brain power into it. I mi literally might just do something as simple as this, but in columns. Oh, I do like it. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Let's uh, gap uh, back here. Here we are. Okay, um, let's go back to the stream. Hello, hello, hello everybody. Welcome, welcome to the stream. If you're new around here, uh, make that unsplash image your background image. It might look nice. Uh, see, I don't, that's too complex. Again, like look, all these ones just so basic. Just a flat color. I know he's got some stars falling down. Flat, flat. I don't want too much imagery. To slow it down. I want it to be fast. You know, I just want it to work. But we want start. Um, okay. 
Maybe I have a get in contact button here under there. Uh, let's just do an A. Uh, we're going to create a button class. So we're going to say button, button primary. Um, we'll call it Ash and we'll just say get in touch. So we've got a little get in touch there. Let's go to our CSS here. And now we can do dot button at apply. And then we can give it some classes, right? So we can say button, we don't need style. We need to focus on Nux to not style. Tefa, uh, I'm sorry, dude, but um, no, I'm not doing that, dude. I'm, I'm working on, I literally just want to build my website. It's, it's not a tutorial. It's not me showing you how to use it. I'm just building my website. That's all. Um, I don't want a slider on my website either. Sliders are horrible. Um, what am I doing here? Uh, so how should button be? We need some padding. Uh, padding X2. Padding Y1. Um, cool. We'll leave that like that for now. And then we'll do button hyphen hyphen primary, which will be at apply. I don't know what my color is yet. Background purple. We'll do purple 600, um, and then we'll do text white save. Let's just have a look. How's that looking? Might look a bit bad. Do 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 do. Nux this cool man, but seriously, you can build so much with this. So if I go up here, you see we've got our component. You see we've got content here. We've got the hello world article. Um, so if I literally, if I, how I build it, blog. So if I go blog forward slash slug, right? Uh, there's our button. Uh, we need to round it. Blog forward slash hello world. You've got my content all here. So everything I put in this now, here, will work. So if I just go here and just say, lorem 50. Can I not do that in here? Lorem 50. God damn it, markup. Lorem 50. Look. <laughs> lorem 50 can I not do lorem anymore okay I can weird weird there you go so you see it just adds it here it's just content it works nicely so if I go to my slug and we go in here so there's my slug um, we can create a whole article holder here so we can create a let's say grid um, dot grid calls one Actually, I could just do a dot .container, right? And dot .mx auto tab. Place that back inside. Save. That should just bring it in. Should just bring it in. There you go. Brings it in. See? Um, is Nux just next for few? Yeah, Salah, exactly that. Nux is just next for that. Um, Tefra, if you want me to do a full video, I've literally done a recent video on how you get started with Nux.js. Um, but I'm going to be doing more on Nux. It's just this video is for my blog, dude. Um, but yeah, no, Nux is just uh, f for few. It's it's basically next for few. It's literally the exact same concepts and everything. Um, so really, really, but I have this thing called the content module, right? Sorry, I'm just fixing my tabbing here. Come on, uh, there we go. Um, yeah, and you can basically write Markdown as your whole blog. What just happened? What did I do? I accidentally did something. Uh, cool. Uh, let's just remove these. Uh, tailwind. Let's fix up my buttons, and my buttons aren't good. Let's go back to the button. Button, 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 button. By the way, if you have any suggestions, guys, please feel free to fire them. As in, what we should do for styling, how we want it to look. If you have any um, ideas, you can head over to the Discord channel here, fire them away in here, um, or whatever you want to say, um, and just get involved. Welcome to all the new people, by the way. I see you all. I see you all hopping in here. Um,. Yeah, okay, so we need a button rounded. Rounded? Oh, here we go. Rounded small. Rounded meat, just rounded. Also, I need more padding. That button's not got enough padding. Let's go here. Let's give it four and two. Do, 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 do. God. Problem is, when you use Tailwind, because it has to compile the Tailwind on the fly, it does take a while. Oh, that's a nice image. Can we keep that one? <laughs> So we can use this API just literally like this. Pull it in here and grab an image and take it and use it. And it'll be static at that point. We can even... Uh, oh, what? 
There we go. Button's more rounded. Should we have a full round, right? Or should we keep it with only slightly rounded edges? Oh, right. Yeah, M manage. No, it's definitely, it's definitely Nux, not next. Uh, uh, but yeah, no, next is cool, man. It's all right. Um, also, for peas, right? I want just at apply MX3. Is that f no, MB3? Um, and then I want to go P last off type at apply MB0. Just because I feel like that's just default values. Come on, show me the magic. Show me the magic. Show me the magic. Uh, rendering times, man. Slightly round is better. Only slightly, not fully round, right? Because if we go fully round, then it may look a bit weird. No, that's not what I did. Refresh. <laughs> You're still rendering. No, it's not. It's done. Wait. Did you save? Is my butt... Wait, did I use... Oh my god, please tell me I actually used... I did use a P tag. Now tell me why you're not working. Tell me why. Tell me why. Oh. Heh. <laughs> um, button also needs display. Inline. Block. I think that's right. Is it? Wait, let's. D. Inline. Apparently that doesn't work. Maybe that's wrong. What is it? Is it D inline? <laughs> is at apply pure CSS thing? Is it supported? Or not? No, it's a tailwind thing. So you see up here, I'm importing tailwind. All this CSS is being compiled, right? When we run this website, oh, D, yeah, D inline block isn't a thing. Damn it, what is it? Um, inline block, is it just inline block? Oh, it's just inline block. Um, yeah, this is basically a way of applying uh, tailwind classes that are from the base components and utilities into a button, if that makes sense. Also, all your components, like buttons, should come under components, and utility should not actually be here. So if we, so look here, I should move this up between base, right? Then for components, I should have all my components underneath this. The reason being is because it's a hierarchy, right? Because if I now want to change the color of a button, but only on a certain page, I won't be able to use the utilities because they're going to be in the wrong place. They will be overriding the button. Uh, the button will be overriding this color. So this where this now makes more sense um also this as well see i won't be able to change the spacing of certain paragraphs if that's below the utility utility should be probably last on your list um are you just rendering yeah compile compile problem is it just take a while to compile once you're first uh, sorting it out but 32 people in here by the way what's up everybody i hope you're doing well literally just mess around building my own blog uh, it looks beautiful as you can see oh wrong page as you can see, it looks absolutely fantabulous. It's called Module Build Fail. I worked really hard on this. Look at it. Mitten stack frames. Please compile. Compile. So you use at apply, right? To just apply classes to different things. So as you can see there, if I hover over that, it shows you the background color of the purple. It, show, look, it shows you what class I'm adding into text white. Inline block. You can see it just says display block. You hover over them, it tells you why it is. So now if we go back and we refresh. Back to the blog. There you go. So now it's got some spacing, but we also... I now need to inspect this because... Oh, that is last of type, isn't it? I'm like, why isn't this working? But it's not going to work because we have last of type on. Good point. Um, cool. So here, for this instance, I actually need to override this and say margin bottom... Four or three. How much should I do? Three. Three. I use three. So now, so now, is it still compiling? So now, no. Ah, <laughs> oh, why'd you fail me? It's also being replaced. See, this is what I didn't want. Why? Excuse me, but why? See, these are in here. If I move these. Paragraphs up there. Now. 
Now it should work. Please. Please, pretty please. Um, what are people saying? What are people saying? Looks amazing. Uh, I don't think it does, but thank you. Um, cool. Looks like SAS extend. Hopefully CSS will support it too in the future. Maybe. You never know. Um, God, that margin bottom doesn't want to work for me. Um, looks amazing. It's one P tag removes use last of type. It's one P tag remove use last of type. Is Tailwind just like Bootstrap? Kind of, but no. It's more utility based, whereas Bootstrap gives you loads of utilities, but it also gives you loads of yeah. predefined styles, whereas this just gives you no predefined styles. You have to make the styles yourself using utilities only. So it's a utility only system. Um, so yeah, that's the only thing. Uh, is Tailwind just like Bootstrap? Are you, are you making your blog as a static website? If yes, which comment system are you going to use? Comment system? I'm not going to use a comment system. Uh, I'm not having comments on my website. Um, I guess if you want to comment on it or ask it, it it's more just going to be informational blog. So if I make a video about, um, let's say, Nux.js, I want to be able to write a blog to coincide with that video. Um, and just because some people prefer written rather than um, uh, actual uh, videos. So I want to have both platforms out there for people. Um, it's more modular and customizable from Bootstrap. Yeah, basically, remove p dot last of type. No, because if I remove that, then it's going to apply it to everything, and I don't want that. So the problem is, it will work now, right? But the issue is, when I start adding paragraphs everywhere, it's going to be margin bottom, even if they're not last. Nuxjs is fifty five percent through rendering, apparently. There you go. So look, oh, it's still not even work. Oh, now it has. Yeah, so you can see it's worked, but that's not the effect I want. I need this to work. This needs to work, and then I need utilities for some reason. Suppose so. How it's supposed to work, right? Is obviously cascading style sheets. So paragraphs, if they're above the utility, why don't I put them above the base? If I literally move all of this, it shouldn't work. I'm pretty sure this will error because you need the base to run these at applies. I think. I'm not 100% sure. Um, remove lots of... Oh, okay, Ty. Um, I'm asking the same question above twice. Sorry. What's AFK a bit? What plugin do you use for that at apply and at tailwind? It's tailwind. <laughs> so uh, let me show you. Uh, not plugins. Um, I actually don't need that. Delete. Um, where are we going? Store. I don't actually need that either. Delete. Uh, Nux config. So if you go in here, you can see I am using build modules, Tailwind CSS. So to run this, right, if you want this in your website or your Nux big, copy this, right? I'm going to do control. Is it control alt T? There you go. Now in your thing, you run npm install and you run this and this will install Tailwind for you. It should automatically add it to the build modules, I think, for you. But if it doesn't, add this in your build modules. Um... I think there's a few other things. Is it Tailwind config? Yeah, you need to run Control Shift T. You need to run MPX Tailwind CSS or is it Tailwind hyphen CSS in it? I think I can't remember. Or it might be just Tailwind in it. Um, something like that. And then now create this um, this Tailwind config for you. And in the Tailwind config, you can in you can include stuff like the purge, um, so you can actually delete unused CSS once it's rendered. If that makes sense, it's a little hard to explain, but yeah, it's gone again. Damn it. That last type really is taking up a lot of my time. Uh, Tailwind, so primary, what's going on here? Why is there errors? At rule selector. Yeah, ignore you. Um, I'm going to bring these back underneath base because I believe base does need to be top. I think. I'm not sure. Who knows? Uh, what's everyone saying? Few add tailwind. Is it few add? Oh, if you have the few CLI, you can just do what Daniel's putting there. Few add tailwind. Thanks, Daniel. Uh, yo, what's up, Nathan, man? Sorry I was showering, but I'm back now. Hey, no worries, man. You need a shower when you need a shower. Uh, what's a shower? <laughs> I'm joking. Uh, um, but yeah, cool. So how am I having so much trouble adding spacing to a bloody button in tailwind? Um Okay, is anyone Tailwind? Does have you tried Live Surfer extension? It is actually a Live Surfer, um, by the way. So I don't actually have to refresh this, but sometimes I like to. 
So I've got live server, by the way. It's actually, if I right click a file, I uh, can't. I need a HTML file. Um, but I can run a live server. Um, a few add tailwind does all for configs and seps. Oh, okay, cool. So if you do few add tailwind, it'll sort it all out for you. So you don't actually have to worry, which is actually a great tip. Thanks, Daniel. Um, Daniel, the command you wrote is for few. Tyler is using Nuxt here. Yes, but I think it may still work because you can use few Nuxt and few words similar, especially in the ways they work in terms of your configs and that. Um, Terry, he read one single P tag and you remove margin on it because you write P of last time. Yeah, no, I get that, right? I get what you're saying. But for... Let me try this, actually. It might, it might, that still might not work. But yeah, I know, I get why it's happening. I gotta go for now, Tyler, see you in a bit. See you later, Nathan, man. Thank you for popping by. Uh, hello, hello, Adamus. Uh, how are you doing, Amanda, Adamus? I don't know how you say your name. Sorry, hello. <laughs> um, yeah, I get what you're saying, Tefa, Tifa, Tefa. Sorry, again, bad at pronouncing names. Um, but this should overwrite this. So adding utilities down here means this should render all the utilities underneath this, meaning cascading style sheets, how CSS works, MB3 should replace or overwrite class, if that makes sense. It should overwrite this. How I could fix this is I could create a content class. No, I can't. No, uh, that won't work. Hmm. See, I could just do it the manual way. I just don't want to do it the manual way. Uh, 30 plus peeps watching. We've got 33 people in here. What's up, everybody? Uh, have you done any Node.js backend work? I've done loads, dude. Um, just none for this. I am from Indonesia. Hey, what? hello, Indonesia. Um, cool. I don't want to remove this because I need this functionality, right? I need it so... When I've wrote loads of classes and lines, sometimes you don't want that spacing at the bottom. I'm going to come it out for now just so we can continue on because we're going to be stuck on this for the whole bloody, uh, the whole, <laughs> the whole time we're doing it. Uh, so let's let CSS render. And then once that's done, it's still building. Oh, it looks like the purge post CSS loader. I thought it said purge a minute ago. I was going to say it looks like the purge may be taking time to purge everything. So we could turn that off, I think. Hello, I am Indian. Hello, India. <laughs> okay, use P not last of type. I uh, I could, but I don't like using that sort of pseudo selector. Not CSS can I use. What does it work for? How does it work? Select a list of arguments, not. How does the not pseudo selector? Yeah, it doesn't work in Chrome. Is that true? It doesn't work in Chrome? One of the older versions of Chrome. Doesn't work in Edge. Doesn't work in Oprah. It's got such low support. I don't really want to use it. Oh, wait. Wait, it works there, but it doesn't work here. Okay, apparently it works for everything if you use. Oh, I'm so confused with can I use. Are you using Fuji's? I am, but I'm actually using Nuxt. Um, so Nuxt is a renderer for it. If that makes sense. Um... If that makes sense. <laughs> All right, let's move on. So it just doesn't look right. My website doesn't look right. I don't like it. Oh, we got. Oh, look at that image. Nice. I like the random images. I'm keeping the random images. It's gonna be. It's just, it's just gonna be what my website is. Just random images. Meme. Ten hours late. Ten hours later. All right, we've got this. We've got the get in touch button. I, I probably won't even have a get in touch button. I don't really need it. But let's add in a latest blog element so let's go below this section here let's create a new section dot py4 i feel like py4 isn't enough oh py4 dot boop. um in here we'll have a container dot mx auto and then we'll have a grid with grid calls one no so we're gonna have a okay i have an idea grid we need a MD grid, which is going to have an MD grid calls free, free calls on MD, that should be right. Um, and then MD gap four, right? And then we're going to have an LG grid calls 
four. LG gap eight. I think. Now, if we just diff, uh, I'm just going to say article one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Here we go. Throw all those in there. Let's have a look. There we go. See, that looks good. As you shrink it down, it changes. See? Nice, nice. See? That's what I want. That's what I wanted. How does 768 look? Is it... Uh, I don't think 3 on that will work, so... Can we go any smaller? What's SM? What's SM? Uh, hi, dude. Just wanted to say hi. Hey, Web Dev Shorts, man. Welcome to the stream. Uh, hi. <laughs> See... Us, why do you work with WordPress when you have such good skills with frameworks? Um, WordPress is just quicker. <laughs> Sounds bad, but it's just quicker. Change color, change color of what? Sorry, uh, Bal Bal Balaji. I don't know how to pronounce your name, but hello. Um, how? What do you mean change color of what? What do you want me to change color of? Um, yeah, the reason I work with WordPress is just because my team knows how to use WordPress. They don't know how to use frameworks as such. So it's easier for us to work as a team if we're all on the same page. I work just as good with WordPress with how I work with these. I probably work better with WordPress than I do with frameworks. I mean, I did, I've i been doing this for an hour and this is all I've come up with on my stream. So <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to properly fill out this page and then when we get around to doing the blog, I might do a full-on proper stream. I'll, I'll come up with a proper design and we'll build a design. Um, article. Oh, right. No, that's fine. These are just template. We'll, we're removing these in a minute. We're just seeing how it looks. Um, so that should be fine. Okay. So the articles look like they're all placed. We'll probably only ever have four max articles on here no because then on the smaller screen it won't look right actually here we go instead of that we'll go to that fixes both my issues because then if i go like this oh it's still oh it needs to render don't it refresh there we go so look now we get four and then two and then one on mobile there we go that works better that's much better what do you guys think what do you guys think about that um because i just want above here i want a Above the articles grid, I want another diff. Uh, I need to give these classes because I like classing, I think, but we'll see. Um, and in here, we're just going to have a H2. I'm going to add some classes. Um, what we'll attach all of these into one so I don't have to keep writing out the same classes. Uh, class. And this one will say latest posts. And this will have my four latest posts. There you go. Nice. Also, the padding on this is just not much. Uh, let's say what we got. PY. I think I might go all the way up to something like PY10 for the spacing above and below. Just because I want it to be spaced. That feels better. Look, that's already feeling better. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Um, article design is a card design. What do you prefer? Wait, art, article design is a card design. What do you prefer? Let's design that now and place it there. Wait, what? I'm confused. You want me to design a card? Cool, let's create a global component. Component, new file. We're going to call this um, article. Do I do article card or article card? Oh, see, I don't like it when I have to do hyphens. Because <laughs> the actual article, I don't want to call it article. I want it to be, it's going to be an article card, isn't it? Dot for you. Would you capitalize that second hyphen, guys? What would you do? Complicated. Sack HD. Yeah, tell me about it, man. It's, there's, well, my whole life is naming things. I can never decide how I should name something. Um, article hyphen cards. What, what do you guys think? What should we name? Is it a capital C or a lowercase c? Do we get rid of the hyphen? Complicated to me. Dude, it's complicated to me too. Don't worry. <laughs> I've just started HMAN CSS. Oh, dude, you're in way over your head then. It's fine. We're good. 41 people in here, by the way. What's up, everybody? If you're new around here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. How many years are experience in death? Sorry? Sorry, could you reword that? I'm not sure. I don't... I'm not sure about your question. Uh, why not article card? It can be. I just don't know. What do you think? Article card like that? Is that better? Uh, do you think that's better? Um, 
Oh, my internet has just died. Are you guys still here? Oh, we accidentally created it. Uh, Houston. Can anybody still hear me? I don't know if you can hear me. My stream has just crashed. Oh no. Intermission. Okay, it says it's back now. Open widget. Error, you just not received enough data. Oh, my my internet has gone from good to bad in matters of seconds. Oof. Typical. Typical of my internet to do this. Yeah, you're back. Okay, it's just preference, really. I don't... I don't like hyphens, so I don't use it. Lagged for two secs, fine now. Okay, cool, cool. If you all think it's cool, we're good, we're good. It literally is... It's completely conked out for me, so... I don't know. I'll carry on, as if I was still talking to people. Uh, so let's create a template. Oh, phew. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Okay, template. And then in here, we'll create a literally article, right? Which will be our card. Um, I'm going to give this a class of article card. Um, and then in here, I'm just literally going to put in H1 article for now quickly, just so we can render it. I don't need any styling or anything right now. Um, we'll start this up in a minute. So if we go back, right? And here we could just say article card. Is that how it works? What did we put in here? Article. Of course we did. Let's just say article card. Hey, there we go. So the article card is now rendering. So we've got a component, right? So we just need to loop through these when we actually create it. But buffering. Yeah, sorry, guys. My internet. Oh, it's back. It says excellent. See, what is going on with my internet? I apologize for my bad connection all of a sudden. Um, it's like my internet hates me. Um, also, my stream elements is broken. <laughs> Typical. <clears throat> All right, um, article card. Let's have a look. So we've got article card. We could pass through like a title or something. Um, we're not going to. Um, we'll pass through a whole article. God, my throat is killing me. Um, so if we just have a H3 for each card, which would be the title. Article, title. A little paragraph, which would be the article. We'll do some Lorem in here. Lorem 30. Lorem 30. No, oh, you can't use numbers, can you? Boop. Just want it short and sweet. There we go. And then we'll have like a button. Do we need a button? Do I do double P? Uh, hash and then read more for now. Okay. So we've got that. Let's give the card some color. So we'll give it a... I'm going to remove that. Background. Background white. Adding... Mm, okay. Want you more uh, rounded, small. I don't want two rounded edges. No, a bit more rounded for that. Maybe just rounded then. Yeah, that'll do. Um, buffering. If it's still buffering, guys, please let me know. My internet's really bad. I'm going to be ending the stream in literally a couple of minutes anyway, but. Um, yeah, my internet isn't doing too good. It's always great. God, I'm going to be working on this for weeks to come. And I, I'd literally... I wa This is what I have done. And this is kind of what I want. But I don't want to copy him. And I kind of want it simple as well. Hey, hey, hey. Does Florin have a dark mode? Florin, where's your dark mode? Don't let me tweet you. I'll tweet you. Uh, remove that. Um, but yeah, this is what I've got so far, which is horrible. It looks nasty. It needs upgrading. Uh, what is your favorite developer? What is my favorite developer? Do you mean who is my favorite developer, uh, Balaji? Um, uh, sorry if I pronounce anyone's names wrong. Paul, hey man, you've joined in. I'm just about in the stream in like, what, 
five minutes, but um, enjoy the five minutes while we're here. Um, guys, should we just search for inspiration? What, like, this is literally all we've built so far. It's literally a dead, a dead website at the minute. I need to make it look prettier. It just looks ugly. Even the background is ugly. Let's go to here. Can we try maybe 800? Should we try a darker, darker one? Do, 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 do. 55% through. Article in CSSTricks.com is also pretty good. Ah, oh, CSS Tricks. Dude, you're absolutely right. Is this done yet? Come on, render already. What did I change? The background color. Uh, look at these. These cards are nice, aren't they? Oof. I might do some sort of card component like this, but with images instead. Let's have a look. What they got here? Oh, yeah. This is nice as well. Look at this. So cool. One of the best websites I've ever seen. Go to articles. Ah, oh, see, they have plain articles as well. Oh, they have so many different articles. I want to see cards, though. I like cards. I think they look cool. These, this sort of thing. It's nice. Whoop, 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 whoop. I won't be doing it exactly like this. But look, a simple card, right? You've got a card. Um, you've got a title. Maybe a little paragraph in here. Just a little one. Author name, state. See, this is nice. Good good suggestion, dude. Good suggestion, Manage. Uh, how are you going to add new articles? I'm going to be using uh, Markdown content, right? So I'm probably going to... This is just where I've got them stored at the minute. But I'm probably going to have them on either my a private GitHub repo or something like that where I write articles and just push that and then I'll update my website. Bootstrap is overkill. Are you integrating a CMS? No, I'm not. I'm going to be using Markdown um, literally... My CMS is going to be like GitHub <laughs> or maybe even saying else. I might even, I might build my own mini one. Who knows? We'll see. Uh, do you ever use Bootstrap? No, I hate Bootstrap. I really do. I don't, I just don't like it. I, I've built my own really lightweight version. Um, I used to use it back in the day, but I don't anymore. I'm hoping to learn such designs watching you do that, Tyler, please. Yeah, of course, man. Well, oh, my, what happened? Oh, uh, what happened? What happened? <laughs> Everything's just gone to sh. I'm just getting you my apple. <laughs> it's taking a while. <laughs> How would you use a private repo as a CMS? APIs. <laughs> Basically, I create a markdown one. I put all my markdown files from that folder into... I do a tutorial on it, dude. It's hard to explain. Is this ready now? Hey, there we go. Cool. The darker isn't that bad. I like the darker. Anyway, guys, I'm going to end this here. I'm going to do some more of these small ones. We'll probably do a bit more in-depth coding ones in the future, but this one's just kind of straight up boring. Just me trying to build my own website. It's going to take me a long time. So I'm just I learned development. Which frameworks do you prefer for me, dudes? I prefer Fuge.js, dude, but it's totally up to you. Um, all right, guys, thank you all for popping by. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and, you know, be a cool person. Thank you very much, and peace out. Peace out.